Good evening. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Schoology. This is our learning management system that we will use as part of our course this semester. Schoology allows us to organize our materials into different units. So what you'll see on this first page is our course welcome page with all of our materials. And you'll notice that they're organized into folders. So here at the top we have our general materials folder and then it goes down into weekly classwork and homework, course assignments, warm-ups, and then each of our units. What I really want to point your attention to is this writing folder down at the bottom because this is the folder where we will keep all of our materials and videos and resources for our writing unit. And since this is the unit we'll be flipping, this folder is exceptionally important. So let's take a closer look. Within this writing folder, what you'll see are our different writing units. We'll start off with writing non-negotiables, and then move on to pesky punctuation, absolutes and positives, parallel structure. So let's take a closer look at this pesky punctuation folder for a moment you'll notice that there are three main concepts within pesky punctuation on which we'll focus. The first one is comma use, the second one is colons and semicolons, and then we have dashes and parentheses. In order to understand your job as a student, we'll need to open up one of these folders to see what resources are inside. So here we have our comma use folder, one of the first skills that we'll cover under pesky punctuation and you'll notice there's a lot of different resources in here but the first thing at the top is a video you'll notice this is consistent in each of the folders within pesky punctuation because that is the number one thing you must do in each part of this unit so for each concept you'll open up the folder itself and complete the first thing in here which is to watch the video. After you've watched the video you should have a better understanding of the concept. You'll notice some other things in here are extra resources to help you. So if the video isn't as helpful as you'd like what we have here are written descriptions. So these are handouts that are meant to help you visually see and have in front of you the grammar concepts. So you can download these into Notability, you can mark them up yourself, and then you can even email them to me to get my feedback on them if you like. We also have some practice things in here. So this green puzzle piece means that this is a practice quiz. So you can try that on your own and get immediate feedback. The nice thing about Schoology is those practice quizzes are set up to give you immediate responses to tell you what you got wrong and what you got right. So you can check your answer, see how you did, and if you scored well on the practice quiz, then you probably know you're ready for the actual quiz. If you didn't do so well on it, then you can try some of these extra resources to help you out before you take the quiz on comma usage. So here we have at the end just some general review items as well. That, those items typically cover all of the rules at once, so those tend to be very helpful also. Now one thing you'll notice in Schoology is that there are different types of resources. These PDF assignments that are here are documents. I mentioned the green puzzle piece is a quiz. And the link at the top is a video that just shows a, a link to outside resources. But you'll notice here on the top right hand corner, I can also add discussion posts for you to talk to each other and maybe create your own sentences using these rules. I can create an assignment. So sometimes for the video, what I'll do is add it as an assignment because I specifically want you to submit your notes for that video. So adding that assignment will allow you to upload your notes right into that assignment submission and then I can see whether you've done it and whether you've done it on time. So that's nice for me as well. Again we've got discussions 
files, links. I can add pictures so you could write sentences about different pictures and post those. So there's lots of different resources we have within Schoology. The other thing you might notice that I'll do from time to time is create a must complete folder, which means that all the things on the list must be done in order and you cannot move on to the next item until you're finished with the one that comes before it. So sometimes I'll do that because I want you to watch the video first and then there are certain things I want you to do in successive order. We won't do that all the time, but every once in a while you'll notice that I'll do that within Schoology. And I think that'll really help us with our flipped unit. Here's one last feature that will really help us to all stay on track during this flipped unit. You'll notice that for each assignment, I can post a due date to let you know when each piece of that unit is due so you can stay on track and it will give you updates and alerts as soon as you log into Schoology and take a look at that. So please look out for that. So ladies and gentlemen, just to recap, Schoology is organized by resources. So whenever you need a certain material, you just need to go to the appropriate folder that you're looking for. And for our flipped unit, this will be our writing folder. Drill down to the specific resource that you need and open it up. Remember that you can always check for updates and check the gradebook for your scores on these assignments. Remember this is a mastery unit, so if you're not happy with your score, access the additional resources in that folder for extra practice and then come see me about doing a quiz retake. I'd like you to work up to that proficiency throughout this unit. So please let me know if you have any questions as you're working. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video tutorial helpful for Schoology.